93 boxing i'm back with a quick video i'll try and make this video short if i can there's some boxing channels right and with all due respect i'm not trying to again start beef with them trying to like start shit it's just me giving out my opinion in a respectful manner or at least i i don't want people to take it as a disrespect there are f channels that are trying to say and they've made videos on this showing uk fighters quitting and, you know, to a certain extent, it might be true that we might have a little bit more quitters and whatever. But here's the thing, right? They mentioned Junior Witter. They mentioned, I mean, they mentioned, they mentioned Kelbrook. They showed some other, so many fighters. I can't even remember. Like, um, yeah, they showed a few other fighters, right? Did they show James DeGill? I can't remember. But, yeah, I just watched a little bit and they said Junior Witter. But here's the thing, right? Yeah, there are some quitters. But there are some fighters out there in, out here in the UK that are not quitters. We know Carl Frosch, I think he broke his jaw at one point. He kept fighting and he won, right? So Carl Frosch is not a quitter. We know um, David Hayes not a quitter. you already seen that. Whether you think David Hayes a bum or not, you know his leg was effed up badly. Badly. You can see some uh, photograph of his... Um, Actual injury and he's fucked. And David Hay did not quit, man. That guy fought with his heart out. So you can't just say that um, UK fighters are quitters. David Hay knew he was losing. Look, you can tell, right? Kelbrook was still in the fight. Kelbrook won most, like that first half overall. He won most of the first half of the rounds. Like first half of the fight, basically. So the first one to six rounds, he won most of them. David Hay pretty much didn't win any rounds. Almost, maybe he won, I can't remember to be honest, but he looked like he was losing badly and yet you can tell his leg was fucked and you can still tell that this guy was doing whatever he could, whatever he could, this guy was giving his heart, putting his heart in that ring, you already know, you already seen that, it wasn't even a long time ago, right, Tony Bellew, the guy seems to have heart, there's a lot of George Groves, right, got knocked out Cold by Carl Frotch and he had heart. He tried to get up and try to fight and he was proper disappointed that he didn't. Whether you think he's a good fighter or not, that's different. He had heart. Amir Khan had heart. He could have quit against Madonna, could have quit against Danny Garcia. You know how he got up from Danny Garcia's shot? That was a lot of heart. You know, the Prescott fight, he got he got knocked out and he quickly tried to get back up as soon as possible. Then he got hurt again. Um, Khan has heart, man. Khan and Maidana fight, you, you know, you need a lot of heart. You need a lot of heart to go through that. Peterson fight, you need, he, Amir Khan's gone through adversity. He he showed heart. You know, there's a lot of fighters in the UK that has shown heart. And I can actually turn around and say the uh, same thing about US fighters. Look, Victor Ortiz is probably the biggest quitter in boxing. Victor Ortiz is a US fighter. This guy has quit against Maidana shamefully. And to be honest, I don't even like calling fighters quitters because they fight. Like, come on. They're boxers. But at the same time, Victor Ortiz is a quitter. Shameful quitter. Quit against Luis uh, Colazo. Shamefully. Quit against Floyd Mayweather. That was the most shameful quit I have seen in my life. He kind of quit against Andre Berto. But, I, you know, Robert Garcia says you know, he was genuinely hurt. So, okay, I'll give him a pass for that. And uh, these are only the fights that I can remember. And Amir Khan fought Victor Ortiz in the amateurs. And I heard Victor Ortiz stop the fight on the stool. So he quit then too. You had Luis Colazo who I rate actually. I think he's an underrated fighter. I think he can hang in there with some top fighters. I think he. I want to see him versus Sean Porter. And I think I, rate, I probably lean towards Sean Porter. But we don't know man. Luis Colazo is a pretty decent fighter. Every top fighter he faces... He gives problem. I mean, apart from Amir Khan, he, he and he stunned Amir Khan at one point. I think uh, just a little bit, but other than that, he gave Keith Thurman problems. He gave Ricky Hatton problems. He gave, um, fucking, he Shane Mosley problems. He gave Andre Berto problems. This guy gives problems to everyone. He's a fucking problem to everyone. So, but even him, this guy quit against Keith Thurman. And it's a fight that he had real, real success in. Kale Brook had a broken eye socket, guys. He, Luis Colasso didn't have broken shit. I don't think he did. And he quit. 
He really quit. Luis Colasso lost heart in the last round as well. Like he in the last few rounds against Khan. And he almost mentally quit. So you know you have Luis Colasso. William Monroe Jr. How about him? He quit against Triple G. You gonna tell him that this guy hasn't got heart? But you know, I do think Kelbrook kind of quit a little bit against Triple G, but Kelbrook stepped up two way divisions, right? Monroe Jr. stepped up one. And Kelbrook, I can't believe I'm defending Kelbrook. But you know, I look. Truth is truth, right? US, you know, it's not just UK fighters that are like quitters. Kelbrook is less of a quitter, I would say, than William Monroe Jr. William Monroe Jr. stepped up one weight division. His face, face never got broken and shit. He had a little bit of success in, against Triple G. He kept getting going down, but he kept getting back up. And he just literally told the referee, nah, I'm done. So, hey, US fighters can quit too. US fighters can definitely quit. And also, Zab Judah, did he not quit against Amir Khan? Did he not quit against Amir Khan? He definitely quit against Amir Khan. We, we, we've seen him. Man, that was actually one of the worst quits as well. I mean, like... You know, the Victor Ortiz one, I said it's the worst quit I've ever seen in my life. It, the reason why it was worse is because it's, it's a shameful act he's committed. Like... <laughs> <laughs> the way I said it, it sounds like as if he's done some provocative shit in the ring. But no, it was like he headbutted the floor, then he got knocked out, and then pretended like he couldn't get back up. He just didn't want to get back up. <laughs> but the shameful one was Zab Judah's one was pretty shameful as well. Like at least Victor Ortiz admitted that he quitted. Zab Judah pretended like he got hit with a low blow. It was some bullshit, man. Zab Judah pretty much quit mentally against Floyd Mayweather Jr. as well. That, that's why he hit Floyd downstairs. You already know. Kendall Holt quit against Danny Garcia. Kendall Holt seems... Like, I think in a few other fights as well, he showed that he's got a bit of quit in him. So Kendall Holt quit. And, you know, I, I don't want to hear, like, it's only UK fighters. Maybe there's a little bit more UK fighters than US fighters. Percentage wise, I don't know, but there's a lot of US fighters that do quit, man. And this is only some of the things that I've just thought on top of my head. If I sit down, like most people probably make videos, they probably think about it a little bit, right? And that guy made a video like of actual compilations of people quitting. I'm only thinking this off the top of my head, and um, yeah, and these are the names that I found. Luis Calazo, Victor Ortiz, William Monroe Jr. I mean, if I think about it for a few moments, I don't want to make this video... Fuck, this is already eight minutes. Um, I don't want to make this video too long. But look, it's not just UK fighters that quit. David Hay showed hard. Mad hard. George Grove showed hard. George Grove was getting fucked up in the first fight against Carl Froch. And he showed hard. Against Badu Jack, he showed hard. He um, put up a good fight, right? Um, you know, so I don't see why people are saying... It's only UK fighters. There's there's probably a lot of UK fighters that do quit, but there's a lot of US fighters that quit as well. Quitters exist everywhere. 93 boxing, I'm out. 93 boxing.